Y'all, so I'm going through PS and PMS right now, and I wanted a PMS meal, and I'm going to five guys. But who's spending $25 on a burger and some fries? No, and I could just make it myself. So I went to Aldi and got all the stuff I needed. I was about to get them brioche buns because I couldn't find the potato rolls at first. But I hate brioche bread, so I'm glad I kept looking. I also found this strawberry filling. So I got some of that, and I got some fresh strawberries so that I could make me a strawberry milkshake. Y'all, Aldi had pre-made burger patties. So if you want to make burgers with your ground beef, just go ahead and get the pre-made burger patty meat instead of working harder work smarter and i will say that it was the same price for the same weight so it doesn't cost extra i put on my cast iron i put some oil on it to get hot and i put some of this bacon in the air fryer do y'all use your cast iron to cook burgers i just feel like it tastes so much better in the cast iron either that or the george Foreman grill but i use red onions that's all i had or purple onion and then once I just cooked them down, and once they were done, I just put the burgers in the, um, my cast iron. And these weren't pre-seasoned, so of course, you know, I had to season them. And I used onion powder, garlic powder, salsa, and a little adobo. I would say these patties took about 10 minutes each side. And while I was cooking the patties, um, I was heating up my oil to make my fries. Normally, I put the fries in the air fryer, but... Like I said, I'm going to PS at PMS and nothing else will piss me off. There's some air fried fries, so we doing the real way. I cook my burgers well done just because it's ground beef and you don't know what part of the cow that came from. It could just be a mixture, so I always cook my burgers to be well done. But any other cut of beef, medium is my preferred choice. But yeah, it's about 10 minutes on each side and then once I flip them, I put some cheese on them. And I let them cook down some more on the other side. I let my oil heat up a little bit before I drop my fries in. While the oil was heating up a little bit, I started um, preparing my bread. I toasted these buns in the air fryer. Then I just add mustard, ketchup, some Duke's mayonnaise, and the lettuce, and the fried onions on it. And then once I, I blotted some of the oil off the bacon, and then I broke it up into pieces and then I just added the bacon as well. And then I went and took the burger patties once they were done and I just added them. And the next thing I did, I just added the um, fries to my plate. And I also added some peppercinis. Peppercinis is just so good on hamburgers and cheesesteaks and stuff like that. And basically my food was done, so I went ahead and made a milkshake. The milkshake was real easy. I just used some vanilla ice cream a couple splashes of milk and then i used the strawberry pie filling that i picked up it looked a little weird and i was a little skeptical about it but i just kept going then i added three fresh strawberries and i used my single serve attachment for my blender and i blended it up and i poured it inside my glass um this is my plate before i didn't catch all of it some of it got cut off but it's just the two burgers and the fries and then of course i had the milkshake as well and I took well, that first bite, and when I tell you I was in heaven, this was actually better than Five Guys. And that's saying a lot, because you know, sometimes food outside just tastes better. Sometimes, now, not all the time. And when I say I ate all of this, I ate it all, which was surprising, because I had a milkshake, two burgers with bacon on it, and fries. And I don't know if it was just the PMS cravings hitting, but this meal was so good, y'all. And I didn't get a plate, a picture of my plate afterwards, but I, like I said, I ate it all. This milkshake, that strawberry milkshake was the best strawberry milkshake I ever had. And I don't think I ever had it any other way.